welcome to Lois TV Ministry. Missionary Lois is, is here, standing before you again. It was just a blessing. I know every day in this new day is probably crazy for you too, but isn't it a blessing to wake up and say, whatever dream we go through, he will bring us through it, and even me. When me was a crazy morning, and I'm saying, okay, the devil think he have his way, but we're gonna realize the devil can't have his way in us unless he choose to have his way in us, right? So take a deep breath, and I will too, and breathe out and say, okay, time to relax and get your mind on Jesus. What have Jesus done for you today? Did he woke you up this morning? I did not wake you up. He's not the clock. He is the spirit in us that wakes us up every morning. And we have to realize and the Holy Spirit and in the Son lives in us. He's the one that's okay, time to get up. What are you going to do now? Are you taking time and say thank you for every minute, every hour through the night and through the new, new day? Are you going to wake up and complain about the rain and everything that's going on in God's world? We're in trouble now because we don't want to pray. It's unbelievers does not believe in God does not believe in Jesus, and there's a Jesus and there's a God is so real. He's the breath that we breathe. He's the blood that runs through our veins every day. And we got to realize that we owe him so much. We don't realize what he's doing. Only when we're in trouble, we come to him, which he knows. He knows things going to happen before I know and before you know it. So you know what? Just say, okay, I'm going to breathe and let go and trust in him like I do trust in him because I know I can't do nothing without him. I can't see, I cannot breathe, and neither can you. So what are we doing at home in the kitchen? We say, I'm gonna let go and trust in Jesus, sick or whatever, he's going through it with you. He's the one that said, trust in him, his son and the Holy Spirit that will bring you through it, which I know he done it for me and he done it for you. Because where we be, we didn't have prayer. We need prayer in this world so much. We need prayer in an, all over this world. And a lot of people don't believe in prayer. Yes, it's different religion, but who are we gonna face when we come and hold our head down before his son? One person, Jesus. He's gonna ask you, why not you believe in my son? He hold his head down and said, well, you want to come in my paradise and you don't believe in my son? And Mary, she's so sad because you don't believe in Jesus. And she saw all what he went through for us. It's time to realize that, you know what? Would it be Mother's Day if Mary didn't have Jesus? Have you realized that Mary is the first mother that had Jesus? And then we have babies because Father plant the seed in us to us to have babies. Yes, the man have his part, but Holy Spirit does it all. So you can't give man all the credit. And you say, okay, I had a pretty baby. Who created the baby? Jesus, the Holy Spirit. But Mary had Jesus. But did she know her son was going to do so much pain for us? And he did. How soon we forget? We wear a cross as a fashion which is not. A cross is remember what he did for me and what he did for you. Not what's on your arm or what you tattoo on your shoulders, your arms. It's a mind you, of you what he did for us. I look around and I say, you know what? What did he do for me? He woke up with some money. Now people tell me, no, the clock. No, it's not the clock. He's created the sun, the moon. He's controlling the water, the sea. Even the deep pits of the earth, he is controlled it all. He even tell where the fish to go, the birds to fly, and everything is in this world. But we take him so much for granted. All we do is complain about everything. What kind of creatures we are when we don't take time and say, okay, I'm sorry, I enjoy things in life. And some of us here and everyone doing things and don't realize, you know what? The summer is gonna change. Storm is going to come. The day is going to get colder. It's not going to be like it was before. Realize, look around, and look at the trees once in a while. Look at the, the heavens once in a while. And look around your house and see how he blessed you and what he gave you. 
A lot of people don't have a home. I don't know because they don't want to pay the rent or what. But God knows how you want to live. A lot of people say, I hear on TV a lot, we can make this happen. How can we make things happen if we don't put it in prayer? How are you going to have an apartment if you don't put it in prayer? If you don't ask for a healthy body like I do, if you don't put it in prayer, your body will not be healthy. He healthy, A healthy mind, healthy spirit, and a mind of Jesus, Son, and the Holy Spirit with wisdom and His grace. Oh, He's so full of grace. He's so full of love. He loves us so much. But we take Him for granted every day. Yes, we say prayer doesn't work. A lot of people don't pray. You know why? Because things are day in the turn oil. Only things that turn around if we ask Jesus, Son, to be in it all. We wake up and do everything without Him. Even the kitchen, you can say thank you. Through the pain, through the trials. I look at it this way. Maybe because when He died on the cross and suffered, He left a little of that in us to remember Him. The pain. That's how I think. Maybe we need to change how we think in our mind through Christ to realize that the suffering that we go through in mind of Him, because He went to the cross and how He suffered for us. All He asks for us to buy Him to live in us and receive His Son. And Mary should be so happy. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what religion you are. Long as you believe in praying, and long as you believe in it's a God and it's a Jesus. And you wake up in the morning, you say, my body's so full of everything that's going around and don't what I'm doing. You know, it's like a turn oil, right? Because I've been there too. And believe me, I do ask him what I'm going through this, what I'm going through now. And what I'm going through and what you're going through, I don't know what you're going through, but he does. Our Father, our Bai, he will bring you through it. So I can't tell what to do. I'm standing and telling you what I do. Whatever it is in my life every day, I said, okay, I can make it through Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and be thankful. Be thankful that he's the one that loved us so much. He gave his only begotten son, as Jesus. And Mary went down all the road with him to that cross, right? Which is Easter's gone. And now we're into the summer. Want to get out there hot and everything else, right? And when it's hot, we don't complain. But when it's rain, why do we complain? If we didn't have the rain, we would have crops, which is food for us to eat, and veggies and all good things for us to eat. We didn't have rain. And the flowers would die out if it didn't have rain, and the trees would dry out if they didn't have water like we need water. Think about them. You know, I look at life differently now because I'm trying to take my mind through Christ. And I'm a person, and so are you, a species in Christ, a new child that want to know his, his daughter more and his mother more. Are we his daughters? Are you his sons? We got to learn to give back your children to Jesus because they belong to him. Me, I'm saying, I belong to you, I give myself to you, I give my sons to you, I give my family to you. I can't tell them to pray, which they know that I do. But it's up for you to say, okay, I can't work it out. But if you learn to pray, he will work it out for you. So when you need something, what are you going to do? You're going to go crazy about it? No. You said, okay, I tell you what I do. Pray about it and let God have his way. It's something I want to buy or whatever I want to get. I said, take a moment. I go pray. And then he tells me what to do. If I have to go to the hospital, have a checkup, whatever, cancer, whatever you have, you say you don't have it, trust in him. He's the doctor. He's the healer in us. He is doctors out there. But he is in them working through us. And today we think we can do it all without prayer. No, we can't do it without prayer. I love what I do because I have a Savior that loves me and a Savior that loves you. And Zephyr, you said, okay, I'm letting go of everything in this world. 
uh, right in Christ and for asking forgiveness for your sins and said, okay, I'm learning to trust in you for all things that I need through the Holy Spirit and through Almighty God. So you know what, a mind, a clear mind, a clear voice to open your ears to hear no other voice. Oh yes, he's out there, you know who it is, right? He's after me, he's after you. Well, you know who that is, it's the devil. Doesn't have that tail, but he is real. He think this world is his, he think he can conquer it all, but he cannot. But God knows, we'll overfeed the devil like Jesus did, we will come through it. We got said, okay, devil, I'm listening. So is somebody else listening? Even with you, he's around you like he's around me. Don't think one moment he's not. And more you pray, he's gonna come after you more like he does after me, because he's so real. I think we need more in this world in prayer today. They say, okay, because this man has so much power, right? But you know what? God knows what he does, and so do you. You have to say, okay, it's time for me to do what God wants me to do, not what people tell me to do. We need changes in, this, in the state, in the government. We need changes in the White House. We need changes in everything. And God will put the right person there, only in prayer that cares about his people and care about the ones in the streets and do something about it, only in prayer. So we must ask God to help us to know him more and depend on him, not his world, depend on Jesus, the Son of the living God that made the world for us to live in. Yes, it's pretty, and everything is chaos today because we don't want to pray. I'm saying, Lord, forgive us for our sins. Help us to know you more. Open our eyes to see through your Son and through the Holy Spirit to know us a God that loves us and loves you too. I don't know what you're going through today, but I'm telling you, whatever it is, trust in him and he will bring you through it. Every day is not going to be easy. But we wake up in the morning and some said, when you go home, if you don't know a savior and know his son, how are you gonna face going through this journey when he calls some family home? Are you gonna lay out and cry out and die out and said, okay, I can't go through this? But you know what? If you have a savior in your life that loves you, you can deal with what I call sweet sleep when you call a loved one home. He is our companion, he's our friend, He's all that we need every day. If you need a hug sometime, I'm saying I do. I ask the Holy Spirit for a hug. If you want to visit you in your room, ask him to visit you. He visits you anyways, he's there, but he's there looking at you and what you're doing. I'm getting dressed on Friday night, go out party and everything else. He's probably shaking his head, so no, no, that's not good. But you're doing what you want anyways, right? And when something happened down the road, which he knows, what are you going to do then? You still don't think of him at all. You say, okay, I'm going to get out of this. But have you learned anything at all? He didn't put us here to do worldly things which serve the devil. He put us here to serve him in our own way. We have a destiny in life. Doctors, lawyers, even people that dig holes for us to go home to. He gave everyone a destiny in his life to do things. I'm thinking, digging holes for me to get in? Your graveyard? He paid people for that. He paid surgeons. Everything he does, he paid them to do in this world when it's time for us to go. So open your mind up and say, you know what? Try to change your way of thinking as I do, which is not easy. I know life is not easy because I go through a lot. I know you go to, to it. But we have to realize there's a Savior that loves us, a Savior that wants you to know Him. And His name is Jesus, Son, and the Holy Spirit of God. And so does Mary. She loves you. I see Mary, and she looks so sad. Why is she so sad? Because she not received her son. I don't care who you're praying to, 
of our religion you are, is still one person that died on the cross for us, and his name is Jesus. No other name we have to bow before. So you know what? In the morning, think about this, not the clock. You want to wake up full of energy, full of pep. And sometimes I don't have that energy and pep. What I need, I'm saying, Lord, I feel empty. I don't feel your presence with me. What's going on with me? I know that's happening to you too. So what do you do when you get like that? You ask the Holy Spirit for help to move that feeling away, to feel his love and his joy and his peace of mind. Your peace of mind will come through prayer. Everything God knows what I don't know, he knows what's going to happen to me and to you. All I got to do is say, open my mind. I trust in you, not me. And believe me, pray in your own way. I can't tell you what to do. So I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be joyful. Everything that God wants me to do. Even in your job, if people are trying to tell you, oh, no, 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 it ain't going to happen. But you know better, right? God knows what's best for you. As early I said, whatever sickness you're in, hold on. Your help is going to come. I believe the day that prayer means so much to Jesus and for us to invite him to live in us and pray more, because we don't. We take him for granted. That's why we're in a mess today. So we got to stop taking him for granted and realize that he is the motion in everything. The moon, the sun, the light, every earth clip, the earth clip that just passed, he's all that too. Well, we're so sad to see that, right? Are you sad to see Jesus? A lot of people tell me, you know what, when time I go home, I want to see my mother, I want to see my dad, see my family. But if they're not saved, you won't see them. Me, when it's time for me to go home, I want to see Jesus. I want to see Mary and my father, Albai, and all the beautiful angels. And down the road, my family all there, which I pray they are, and we'll come back and make this world over again. Because your first power hour should be him. I want to see Jesus. I want him to look down at me and look up at him and see his mother smiling down upon us. Yes, she's here. The Holy Spirit is in us. And she looked down at her son every day, right? Because it's Mary, the Holy Spirit, and God, right? My love son, I give to you. Why not you receive him? Why not you want to know him? Because he knows you already. And it's up for you to say, okay, I'm going to do this in faith that knows the God that loves you, that wakes you up every morning. You know what, again, the war is going on. Why? Because the devil is having this way. We have to realize that devil can't have his way in his world anymore. And God is watching everything going on in his world, and it's going to end. Don't think, because new generations, we're playing for the new generation. They don't know that. It could be now when God wants to send his son. So we got to look and say, we thank you for every day. We can't pray for the new, new generation come, because that means for the young ones and the babies today, God can come anytime he wants to come. We don't know. But we look for his coming, right? Because he loves you and loves me. And I'm saying, I love what I do. I love, I used to go in the nursing homes. I used to go down Rosie's, but now things change so much. What's going on out there? I love being in the streets, which I'm going to get back in the streets. And I'm saying, I can't worry what's going on out there. Because when I'm out there, I know somebody's keeping care of me. Yes, things are going to turn out today. But who will we believe in? This world? Or do we believe in Jesus? Even you feel so empty, like I said early. Ask him to fill you up through the Holy Spirit, to know it's a God that loves you and know he needs you and you need him. Yes, he needs you to open yourself up to him. He needs you to invite you to live in him. What the Holy Spirit is already there, right? So wake up 
look around and see what he's doing for all of us. And we're taking for granted so much. Yes, the school need prayers and prayers not back in the school today. Yes, we enjoy God's weather and his everything and then we start complaining about everything else. We gotta start complaining and know it's a God that love us and he give us the best. He give us the best and all he wants once in a while and said, okay, the day is a new day. I'm not asking you for anything. I'm saying thank you and love. Thank you and love. Jesus, Son, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, and love. Days are being numbered one by one, and so are we. We're going to realize, watch how the time goes by so fast, right? In the morning, look at getting dressed, the time is going. Why is time going by so fast? And before this year be gone, and New Year end again, we celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving, all that, right? Which is right around the corner. And we got to realize that we're truly blessed to see this year and how the time is going so fast. I don't know if you realize, you look at 12 o'clock, before you know it, it's 2. Then it's 2, then it's 4, then it's 5. You go home, work 8 hours, time to go to bed, time to eat, time to get up, right? Same routine every day. Right? So what's your routine going to be? To wake up in the morning first, start the day with him, and give him thanks. So whatever come out the day, that he will be in it. On the trains, on the trolleys, in the air, in the planes, make him the driver. And you will land safely, right? Because so much going on in the day without prayer, we don't realize that we need prayer in God's world. I can't, you look at me, I'm saying, I'm not perfect. And I know you're not neither. But one person is perfect is Jesus, the Son of the living God. And he want us to know that he loves us. And he gave his only begotten Son. I can't thank him enough for breathing through every trial I go through. And I pray that you learn to trust in him as I do to know it's a God that loves you, that opens your eyes, ears to hear his voice and no other. Be thankful for little things, for big things. Thank him for you can get around, get out of bed, which I do. He move us about and nobody else. Who do you think is moving us about getting up? You ever thought about it? Is it you? No. It's the Holy Spirit in us, Jesus, his son, and the Holy Spirit. I love what I do, as I said earlier. I can't tell you enough, prayer means so much to him. And the blood running through our veins is about him. A heartbeat and everything is about him. So we gotta realize that the Savior said, okay, have it your way and see what's gonna happen. Does things mess up for you if we don't pray about it? If you're going to do things your way and not God's way, even if you're getting married and say, is this the one you want me to marry? If he tell you no, are you going to walk away and say, no, you're not the right one? That's hard to do, right? You know, well, I'll tell you a secret. I thought I was the right one many moons ago. But I prayed about it, and I thought he was the one that I choose. But God says, no. Too much chaos in this man's life. I know he's a good man, but he's not the one. And I couldn't believe what I heard because you know what? When you pray more, he will answer you and give you an answer you don't want to hear. And so for you didn't realize, I said, okay, I'll do what you want me to do, not what I want. So it's up for you to make the right choice, to surrender yourself to Jesus, and to his son and the holy God, to know God that choose you, whatever he wants you to do. I'm standing here because he chose me to serve his son. And I love what I do. I love to pray, I love to worship. I learned, I learned to do all the things to Christ because I couldn't do this without him, believe me. When I first started, the devil was all over me, believe me, because he doesn't want me to give the word. And the word is prayer. 
and trust in Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God. We need so much prayer in this world today. And we have prayer more how would things would change as we learn to trust in him. I said, I surrender all to my Father, to the Holy Spirit of the living God. I move myself out the way that he have his way in me. Because where would I be without him? If I did not trust in him every day, I know I'll be a mess, but I learned to trust in him. So all I can do is tell you to trust in Jesus, the Son and the Holy Spirit living God that loves you, that wants you to fall in love with him, make him your first love, make him your companion, your peace, everything that you need every day. Yes, things might look bad for you, but you said, okay, I give this mind to you. I give my body to you to have your way in me like I do every day and watch how things will change slowly in you. So I can do said, okay, I'm letting go. You can't pin on your family, you pin on Jesus. Because Jesus through the Holy Spirit knows and our Father, our body. He knows what you need before I know, but you know what you want before you even know. And it's up for you to say, okay, I'm going to do this in faith. And faith is about him. And all things will come together in the Holy Spirit and love. I love you. And I thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit, not me. In love, in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Amen.